Hey love bugs, it's Ross, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, much love to you. And to my my returning subs, my extended family, thank you so much for the love and support and the kind, loving, blessed vibes that you send each other and then you send me is so gratefully appreciated and from the bottom of my heart, I love you. And for that being said, much love to all, namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are coming for you, coming for you in abundance. I'm telling you, they are coming for you in abundance. So if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Press that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or, you know, even if it's about the positive feedback of the video. Or you're just telling me about your empathic spiritual gift that has been placed upon you. All, as long as it's all positive, it's all welcome. And if you feel like my video really just, you know, gave you a good vibe and put you in a good spirit and gave you a lot of understanding, you know, spread the word. You know, spread the love. <laughs> Spread the love, spread the word, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It is all greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. And the music that I'm listening to um, is 432 hertz plus 528 hertz plus 639 hertz. Goodness, I didn't realize this was all on here. Powerful, miracle tone, music, enhanced positive energy. You know, we all need that in our lives. I'm going to turn that up a little bit so y'all can be able to hear that. You know. Um, and my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's on a mission. Hey, Oka's are on a mission. It's just like, you know, I know a lot of, you know, I've been getting y'all's comments. and Y'all talk about Rosalind, you know, this patience thing patience i understand like i told y'all i'm a taurus Rosalind don't believe in patience you know i'll be, be you know i'll be like with my kids uh how they say i you know like if we want something microwaved or whatever and it's like sometimes it's like we need to go ahead and slowly cook it and prepare it because some you know when you cook it in the microwave microwave it tastes nasty sometimes it just depends on what it is so you need to cook it on the stove or bake it in the oven and it might take a process but guess what it will turn out a lot better in the oven than it would in the microwave because it might taste nasty or you might overcook it and you might have to throw it away and start all over again you have to think about that's how i have to do logic on myself y'all that's how i have to do, <laughs> I have to do it because when i try to tell myself it was just like when i always say prayers you know um before i do my videos i always say prayers because it's just like when i'm thinking to myself and i have all these different thoughts that's how i get my content and then i always you know ask the heavens and everything that's holy and pure you know to give me the words of wisdom to put in my videos and it was just like you know when you're on that mission there's going to be some sacrifices that you know that you know any other day it would have been hard as heck for you to release but when you know you're on a mission, you're going to be able to surrender and, and it's going to be that pill called pride. All these different things that you weren't able to do before, it's going to be no problem for you now. No problem. And it's just like when I get to that point and I know I'm getting all something serious. Like one, I forgot one of the uh, subscribers that told me. Girl, I don't know what it is, but when I start thinking about stuff and get real deep in it, my nose start itching. I, so I know somebody would be in front of talking about I, ain't know, I was fearing the truth. I said, the truth is nothing. Fear the unknown, yes. <laughs> I do fear that. Fear the truth, never that, baby. Never that. But when I know I'm getting good on something, my nose will start itching. And I know I don't itch my nose so much today. My nose is so sore at the end. I mean, it hurts so bad, y'all. It hurts. But no, when when we get, when I start praying, you know, all of a sudden I just got into it 
And, you know, we're always supposed to say anytime we wake up in the morning and right before we go to bed, even on the good days, you know, you're always supposed to let the universe know the things that you are grateful for, even when it's like, it could be a best friend that just not walked out your life. You need to say, you know, thank you. Because later on down the line, you'll probably see, you know, the reason why that person was taking out your life or whatever. You'll probably see the truth behind everything. Or, you know, you might have lost this job. You know, it might be a hurtful thing. But next thing you know, the next week, God done blessed you with a job that's paying two times better than the job that you were at. that was stressing you out. And you trying to figure out how, you know, you're going to pay all these other bills so it's like we're always supposed to be grateful for things and it's, it's just like you know I always wonder you know what's going on with my my family or you know do I have siblings you know I ask questions like this because if you're a person that who has been adopted or been a foster and you find you know you find out all these different things about yourself that you weren't aware of before so all these questions will start coming up in your head and it's just part of my family I know about and other family I don't so it's just all these things coming up in my head and I used to get really frustrated and angry at the world like oh I'm just getting so frustrated because I'm not home yet I want to know if my mom is still living I want to know how my family's doing you know do they even know anything about me you know just things you know all these things used to wrap up in my head but then and I think about look at all the things that I'm learning in the process of working towards that blessing look at all the things that I've opened up the, the people that have gravitated towards me the people that I've been helping along the way of going towards this process because like I told you when I first started my channel a year ago it was just to open up telling people about me being adopted and finding out I was Prince's daughter you know and it was just on the search of my mom and then I started finding out all these beautiful things about myself I've been on a mission baby <laughs> I was just like when I'm getting more people that don't even know me from Adam and they're talking to me like girl you know, it's like we've known each other for like 10 or 15 years. And it's just like, that's a beautiful thing. Because last year, I wouldn't have known, you know, I would have known, think of things would have been, you know, happening for me the way they're happening for me. And knowing the things I know about myself, learning more about people all over the world that I'm talking to overseas. And I mean, that is a true blessing for me. And it's just like when I'm telling y'all in videos, I want to be an advocate, be that voice for people that have been mistreated or you've been abused, they've been going through things, you know, just, just want to be that advocate for somebody because I know that some people don't have that, that voice to be able to go ahead, go ahead and voice their opinions about things that go on in their life like that because they're scared that they might get hurt. They're, you know, no telling when you go through abuse, you know, usually the person that's putting the abuse on you will try to make something of their self of being a victim and you're, you're the person that's causing all these issues. So it will make a person draw back and just let them know, you know, you are the victim but you will not play the victim you will get yourself out of this and you will become stronger than you ever realized and that's why I tell people when you know they want to start their own YouTube channel you have to start off somewhere and speaking of new YouTube channels can you guys love bugs give my girl Laura Kennedy she I mean you need to stop by her page I'm gonna post her link in the description box below I don't know what sister girl starting up on her on her page or her channel I'm sorry channel but if you can just go ahead um, I know it's something positive because you know she's with her being on on my channel I know she does some positive things and she says a lot of positive comments so if you can go by her channel Laura Kennedy and um, stop by and show her love it will be greatly appreciated let her know I sent, sent y'all by there and just say that you know I recommend y'all come by there you know because it's just like we all need to help each other pull through when we're coming through things because it's like it's when we're stepping in on a new thing it can be very scary 
when you don't know how this is going to turn out, am I going to fall on my face? Am I going to rise above? Am I going to take off and soar? You never know until you leap, take that blind leap of faith. You have faith in the universe that they're going to help you out. They got your back. You know, you see yourself doing these things when you're putting it in affirmations and you put it out to the universe. Like Chantel, she wants to have her own business. She wants to be her own boss. Girl, who the heck don't? I know I want to be and I'm going to, I'll put that in existence. You speak on the things that you want. You place that in the universe and then you work for it. Don't be speaking out for it and then you just sitting there waiting for it to happen because it's not going to do that. Because it's just like with me, I want to be a motivational speaker. I want to be able to go around the world and talk to all people that just have any kind of issues with any kind of things that they've been through. And it took them, you know, it took their confidence away. It, it made them put walls up. And I want to be able to help people drop those walls like I'm doing with myself. Being able to let go of the things that hurt you the most. You know, when, I mean, it, it, it's just like... Everybody has their own story to tell. Everybody, it, it, we'll, we'll complain about things that goes on in our life until we hear about the next person. And then that makes you very grateful for the things that you went through yourself. And it's just like, when I talk to people that are close to me and they're, they're, they tell me, Rosalind, you were just so strong because it's just like, I've been through things, but not like you've been through things. And it's just like, I never try to make anybody ever feel like, you know, your struggle is worse than my struggle or my struggle is worse than your struggle. I feel like everybody has a struggle. We just all have different ways of dealing with it because it's just like we can stress and worry about the things that we go through. And it's just like I've said it before. We can all throw our problems and issues on a table. Are you going to pick up somebody else's junk and you don't know how the heck you're going to deal with that or whatever? Or are you going to deal with yours when you already know what the situation is? You're just trying to figure your way out of it. You have to look at it that way. You're on a mission. You're on a mission and you know it's not going to be easy. But that's okay though. Look at all the other things you have been through. You have conquered them. You succeeded when you never thought that, you know, there's days you probably were mad as hell. Trying to figure out why is the world punishing you and you're trying to figure out how you made it through it. And then days go by, weeks go by, and then things start feeling better. You start, you know, you start being more outgoing or you actually start paying attention to different things other than the issue that you had at hand. And then when you start going through those days, guess what? You actually made it through that issue because you were asking God, how was I going to make it through that? It took patience. Even when you didn't realize you were using patience at the time, you were using patience. Because you look back at an issue that you had before, or a problem you had before, and you try to understand, how am I going to get through this? Because there's days I don't want to get up out of bed. There's days that I want to kick and scream. There's days that I want to cry. And then i got to paste this little fake smile on my face. There's a lot of days that, you know, you go by there and you go by and you feel that way. But you know there's another day that has to be conquered. And then days will get better and better and better. Because when you start focusing on the things that you're trying to, to reach, instead of worrying about the issues you have around you or behind you, then you notice that things start getting better for you. And that's when that strength comes in. And that's when the faith starts getting stronger and your confidence start getting start getting stronger and it's just things start getting better for you so when you know you're on that mission you keep thriving no matter how hard it gets don't stop if you need to take a break take a break but just know the universe pays attention to the ways that you keep going even though you might get that setback or whatever just know that they're just looking to see Okay, are they just going to give up on their first try or they're going to try to find another way to get to it? And they start looking at things like that. And when they start seeing those little blessings come in and you're grateful for all those little things they place in your life, that's when they start saying, you know what, such and such is ready. Let's go ahead and start bringing these big blessings in and then you're going to just sit there 
and then you're going to cry tears of joy thanking God or whoever you are praising. I never thought that I was able to deserve all these things that are coming in my life and you're placing all these people and all these beautiful things in my life and I never thought I deserved them and it's just like do you look at all the things that you've been through, all the trials and tribulations and you never gave up. You never gave up and that's a beautiful thing. And so when you know those things are placed in your life, know they're placed in your life for a reason. Because you never gave up. You kept going. Even though there was bumps and bruises and scratches and everything else, you kept going. And knowing when you're on that mission, that's all that matters. And I hope you were able to get something out of that video. I almost started getting emotional because when I start feeling beautiful things and I feel beautiful things happening for people, that really makes me emotional. So, I hope you were able to get something out of this video, and, you know, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Know that you are blessed and you are truly loved, and know there's always somebody out there praying for better days for you, and know that bad things are not going to always go on. Those two shall pass. And I will see you on my next video. So now as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And I will see you later. Peace. And be wild.